Welcome back to the Fiji Pro. Round three is underway with Heat 7 hitting the lineup. Two friends from the north of Brazil, Italo Vieira and Jadson Andre, fighting it out for a spot in round number four. And Italo Ferreira holding a pretty strong head-to-head -head history against Jadson. We'll get into that in a moment. Ronnie Blakey with Ross Williams as Jadson gets into the lineup here. But while we were at the break, so Jadson, Andre had this one. Sorry, Jadson right there, uh, pretty crafty. Again, he found himself a double up, and that's what it's all about today. Nice, beautiful grab rail carve there. Getting a lot of that board knifing through the water. That was nice. And so, you know, again, Jadson put himself right on that ledge, which is tough to do today. You know, the waves are pretty big out there. Um, so it's, you know, easy to be intimidated, but Jadson put himself in the spot. Not afraid to dance with that uh, monster whitewater either on the rebound, just carved right through that tricky section and waiting on the numbers to come through. But one of the cleaner, big arcing moves that we've seen today from Jadson who made the jump directly into the third round with a victory in round one. In a heat, he was probably tipped to lose. He got the win over Stu Kennedy and Gabriel Medina. Italo Ferreira, on the other hand, he was tipped to take out his first round heat against Miguel Pupo and Alex Ribeiro, but was forced into the second round by Miguel, where he overcome, overcame uh, Fijian trialist winner to Vita Gukulau to earn his place in this clash. There's the head-to-head -head history between these competitors. 4-0 going uh, Italo's way. That's pretty impressive. Including a uh, former heat here, uh, a past heat in the third round. That was last season. Well, we all know Italo's really good in the air. Amazing surfer with planting moves. We were talking about his stature, how he never seems to fall. Very great center of gravity. So he, he's, he's made for prime time surfing. He doesn't seem to buckle under pressure, but he's also good in hollow waves. So you need to be, you need to have that. You know, if you're going to do well at Pipe, Fiji, and Tahiti, you got to be well rounded. And then he turned up at, in Fiji, he turned up in Tahiti, quarterfinal at both locations. Didn't look too out of sorts at Pipeline, despite the fact he was knocked in the third round. But he just clicked with all these hard to figure out waves on the schedule as Jadson takes one through to the inside, hoping for a special connection, doesn't find it, kicks out. He has the lead, his first wave a 6.67. The judges really loving that big full rail carve, grab rail carve that he let go of. It's amazing how comfortable Jadson Andre is grabbing his rail. He's notorious for that with his reverses on his forehand does the same kind of method. He grabs that outside rail and whips the board back around. Uh, it's something about it, but it really clicks for him. Bit of an odd question, but uh, you've been staying here on Tabarua, a lot of lay days. Has Jadson Andre been laughing a lot? We'll get to that in a moment. As he smashes the lip up once again. So Jadson really just sticking to the moves at this stage, but the wave is starting to barrel and he does find some cover. Can't find the exit though. But has he been laughing a lot, Ross, on the down days here in Fiji? Have you noticed? I see. It's to me. Yeah, I see him. Uh, he's always loose. Uh, very social. Even though his main uh, language is Portuguese, he, he chats it up with all the Americans and Aussies. You know, he's got a lot of friends. Um, so he's he's not inhibited that way. Uh, he's uh, he seems like a free spirit. He, he knows how to have a good time. Um, that being said, though, he really knows how to switch gears when he puts a jersey on. He's one of the feistiest competitors we have on tour. This way over here again, textbook, Jadson Andre hack. Nice round carve. I thought for a second he was going to find his way through that little barrel. It was almondy, and those almondy shaped barrels are tough to kind of find your way through. Uh, but obviously he got shut down. The reason I asked if he was happy is Jadson always says when he's, when he's laughing, he's having a good time. That's when he gets his best results uh, at the moment. And our competitors definitely these last few days have gotten back into comp mode, enjoying some free surfs. At the moment, Jadson Andre in heat number seven of round three holds the lead over Italo. And here goes Jadson. He's keeping busy. This is ride number six as he looks to set up the tube. Get some speed now. 
And he is running deep through this barrel and finds his way through to this open face. Sets his rail, clean carve, and again just steps on that back foot. Almost loses that move, but hangs on for a solid finish. Should be a good score, could be his best wave yet. Jadson Andre starting to light things up. And uh, yeah, just quickly, this is an individual sport, but that Nomoto Tabarul rivalry is fun to look at. And uh, definitely something that the islands and the staff invest in. And that's what kind of uh, really makes it a talking point for this contest. But every single one of these competitors is out there for themselves. And Jadson Andre doing a good job at the moment, Ross Williams, of establishing a solid lead over Italo. Yeah, amazing. I, I'm not sure what's going on with Italo, but he's not in a rhythm, that's for sure. He's been a little bit lost in the lineup. Jadson's staying busy. So this wave right here in particular, Jadson holding on to a 6.7, uh, seven, and this would be better. 7.83, really nice deep barrel there. So Jaddy chipping away. This is the, the point of the heat, Ronnie, where at 20 minutes left, yeah, there's a lot of time left. But psychologically, Jad, you know, you talk about a happy Jaddy is a dangerous one. He's going to be feeling really chipper. He's going to be out there laughing in Italo's face at the moment. That's a solid number, 7.83. A keeper for sure. I guess the one thing that Italo has on his side, despite the fact that he was relegated to round two, he had a better heat score total than Jadson in the first round. Yeah, happy to be in a moto, man. And um, yeah, it was his... <laughs> and you're also staying in the same room, room as Owen Wright. Is that giving you some good mojo? Oh, definitely. Like, I, I miss him big old for sure. Definitely with with this condition for sure. He's going to do another few turns out there. And um, yeah, probably the good energy for last year is stay in the same room. And then uh, I hopefully I can keep improving. All right, great surfing from you. Thank you, Rosie Adriano de Souza now. So uh, competitors in round four looking for a spot in the quarters. Second and third have to fight their way through round five. But things are shaping up nicely here as we look to whittle down the field by completing this third round. We've just seen Interlo pick off a, a wave. Didn't really get too much out of it at 3.67. So he's trailing. And he needs a two-wave total of 14.51 with just under 17 minutes to go. Adriano, really comfortable on the Motu. Been chatting to him quite a bit, actually. The Australian boys, they call him Susie. Uh, he, he loves it, like he said. He, he's a big part of the crew there and, and everyone happy to see him progress through that heat as we see Italo up once again. And he just leans hard, putting both hands behind his back finding some extra leverage to unleash that power. Chipping away at this one. Always goes for the big finish, but can't stick that one. Just loses his equipment and goes down. You gotta love it, though. <laughs> that was such a sketchy section to take on, but that's him. He is the Energizer Bunny. He will not stop until that wave is completely finished. Nice looking wave right there. Steps on the handbrake. Pulls a handbrake and it gets a nice little barrel, but it's quick. Love that little two-handed layback jam there. And that was to get a, a little extra rail in the water, get that thing wet, throw some spray. Kind of a classic power turn there from Italo. But overall, he's going to be still chipping away. I think at the end of this heat, he's not going to be satisfied with this score right here. But it's a step in the right direction, Ronnie. Well, he might just break combination, but he'll need a near-perfect ride to get himself into the lead after this one. Had he stuck that last move, he might have got himself uh, in a really good position to have a strike at the lead. It's interesting to talk about because, you know, we saw Gabriel Medina bust a really big alley-oop and didn't get scored too high. So the judges have been very clear. They want to see you get barreled, plain and simple. Perfect lineup spot out the window and just surfs. He catches 100 waves and it definitely worked to his advantage last year beating Kelly. Well, Adriano seems to have definitely learned a lot from working with Jamie O'Brien as far as his tube riding goes at last year's Pipe Masters. Italo, on the other hand, he's up at the moment and he is in the tube. Nice big barrel, grabs that rail. Big drawn-out turn, like something you'd see on a mountain for a snowboarder, just hanging on that rail for a long period of time. But Italo 
Ross, when, when he qualified, he went to Heat Analyzer and he punished uh, the replays of all the different events. He broke down the best surfers and their approach to, at each of these locations and watched a lot of the goofy footers performing out here at Cloud Break to get a bit of a beat on just how to surf this place. Well, whatever kind of homework he did, it, it worked out because that was one of the best barrels we've seen all day. Uh, it was a big cavern, super deep. This, you know, it's not out of the question he could get the 9.77. Look at the size of this thing. It's a grower, it's wide. Right there, he is way behind the pocket, really nice and deep. But again, the girth of that barrel, that was a big one. So, you know, that's going to that's gonna mean so much more as if it was the same length, the same depth uh, on a smaller wave. You know, it's it gets much more difficult when you're dealing with a big set wave like that. Watch how wide open it is right here over the foam ball just for a half a second there, Ronnie. And as you mentioned, the slalom cutty. What a nice score. That's going to be a big one for sure. Well, straight off the ski and back into the lineup with just under 11 and a half minutes to go. Plenty of time for this heat to be completely turned around. Italo about to put a big number up, waiting on that score to drop. Jadson Andre, he was on the inside watching Italo take off on that wave. He had to duck dive it. He must have known that he was on a jam. It would have been confusing because that's his buddy and you're witnessing something that's so amazing you'd have to be happy, but at the same time he knows that's spelling doom for him. It came very fast for him. Definitely. And when you look at the surfers that are in the top five at the moment, he's got a great shot. Yeah, again, because of what you just said, he's well-rounded. He's going to get, he can achieve solid results. Whether it's two-foot mush, you know, he is going to be one of the standouts boosting big airs. Or if it's eight-foot cloud break where it's scary and you got to put yourself, you know, right under the hood, he's still one of the guys to beat. So, I mean, he could be around for a long time to come. Well, let's check in with Strider Wozalewski. Watch this one from the channel. How did it look for you, Strata? Such butter. I mean, hot knife through butter. Perfect barrels are coming through. Italo's just grinding through this thing. He's getting what he needs to get. That last wave that he got was just so beautiful. Looking dead into it, he was riding in through behind it, through the foam ball. Thing opened up perfectly and just the color is like a light bulb lit up, you know, like the sun comes through the roof of it and then just opens it up and bounces off the reef through the barrel and turns it into a light bulb and Big smile for that kid, big nine point ride on the uh, board there and looking like he's on his way back into this thing. Just under one minute remaining and here we go. This is Jadson using his priority. He needs to better a 6.67. He's very deep here and he's not going to find his way through this one. And that is going to give Italo an opportunity going into the final minute. And here he goes, climbing up on that first section. He goes down in a big way. Less than a minute remaining now and Italo might have just lost his heat because there's a few waves coming he's going to wear these sets on the head he might just sneak under 45 seconds to go ouch that was a pretty nasty wipeout here we go jadson now again trying to increase his lead stalling for the tube gets the cover and can't find the exit that wave just got away from him and there's still some time on the clock 25 seconds remaining here Italo's going to get another shot. He's getting in a position for this wave. And all Jadson can do is sit on the inside and pray that his good friend doesn't put a solid score on the board. Time might run out, though. There's a wave out there, but only five seconds remaining. I don't think Italo's going to get a shot here, Ross. Wow. Close call for Jadson. Uh, here we go. You know, it's uh, we've had Italo find kind of have his way with his good buddy put one on the board for Jaddy. Well that is huge for Jazz and Andre he's coming off the back of three round two losses he got himself to round three here he's now going to be in round four the worst he'll take from Fiji is a ninth and a crafty effort from the 26 year old in his sixth year on the championship tour and we lose the current world number two Italo Fiera out of the contest